Today on Eddie's World, I'll attempt to make a very special video game superhero that I think you're gonna love. He just may be the most popular video game character ever. His list of titles are in the hundreds. That's right guys, I'm talking about the one and only Super Mario. It's -a me, Mario! Okay everyone, it's definitely been a while, so let me catch you all up. Over the holidays, the boys bought two Oscar fish. Eddie named his Clark, and Clark named his Eddie. We were lucky enough to get a Titanic Jolly Cat in the Pet Sim X Christmas update. We are two warriors away from completing our Series 4 Akedo collection. And we just got back from Japan, where Eddie won these Mario and Luigi keychains from a claw machine. Daddy. Oh, thank you. I can use these for my Akedo Warriors. It's perfect. Now that you're all caught up, let's compare the Mario keychain against all the Mario figures I collected from our toy bins. Out of all our Mario figures, the keychain figure from Japan has the smallest and most appropriate sized head and nose. It also appears that it's the highest quality. So thank you very much, Eddie. We will be using the Mario figure you want to make our custom Super Mario Akedo Warrior. For this first attempt at a Mario Warrior, I wanted to pay tribute to the 1981 arcade game Donkey Kong, where we see our hero for the first time. In this game, Mario must ascend a steel frame while jumping over barrels being rolled down by Donkey Kong. His only weapon is a massive and powerful hammer. Is this the weapon that you would have picked for Mario? Or is there something else you had in mind? Let me know in the comments below and maybe we can do your idea in the next one. What Akedo Warrior would be our best starting point for today's project? He's gotta be a little pudgy. And is there anyone with a hammer? Oh my goodness! Can we turn Big Stinky into a super OP, super accurate, super awesome Super Mario? The first thing I always like to do with any of my custom Akedo Warriors is to swap the head to make sure everything looks good. My trim shears and cordless dremel are the perfect tools for the job and you can find both linked in the description below. Okay, honestly, I'm having second thoughts about using Big Stinky here. Let me just see what the head looks like on a leaner body frame and I'll let you be the judge. Big Stinky or the extinguisher? You think the extinguisher too, huh? Good choice. It's looking really good at this point, and I think we're ready to start making the weapon. You didn't think we were going to use Big Stinky's hammer the way it is, did you? First of all, the head of a hammer is always made out of metal. It doesn't matter if it's a finish hammer, framing hammer, or a sledge hammer. You can't do this with a plastic hammer. Or this. So I'm not going to send Mario into the arena with a plastic hammer. This drill bit is solid steel, the perfect size and shape, and I don't mind sacrificing it for the video. I just got to make a couple square cuts, then drill a hole through it. Shouldn't be too hard. In addition to making the hammer out of metal, I'm also going to make it slightly larger. He's going to be extremely OP and a nightmare for his opponents. I can't wait for our battle challenge video with Eddie and Clark. Should it be another beat or eat challenge or a surprise challenge? Let me know in the comments and make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss that video. Let's mount our brand new shiny hammerhead onto the handle.
Isn't it funny how you need a hammer to make a hammer? How did they make the first hammer? I'm gonna give Mario his own custom controller, so let's take this one apart and spray paint it with our base color. The Series 3 controllers are pretty easy to disassemble and the inside is the exact same as Series 1. Make sure to tape off these areas to keep everything moving nice and smooth. Because these are moving parts, try to apply light and even coats. Now we can paint the design onto our controller along with Mario and his hammer. Mario's paint scheme is a pretty simple one and since his head was so nicely painted, I'm just going to touch up the areas that need it but I'll completely repaint his hat just so it matches his shirt. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like it, then split strike that like and subscribe button right now because this is just the first custom of 2023. I have so many more ideas that you're not gonna wanna miss. I wouldn't wanna put Lord Shifter or Storm Strike in front of Mario. Check out the controller. Does it look familiar? Okay, let's do some testing. It actually feels like you're swinging a sledgehammer, except your finger is your arm. I'd like to thank our channel members Deb Fenoran and Herbalife 350 for supporting the channel. It means a lot to us. Thank you everyone for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. I'm gonna get started on the next custom and maybe I'll drop some teasers on our shorts channel and Instagram. So make sure you check those out as well. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.